Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a, um, just a quick video about something that, um, I want to clear up that I've read a lot in the media, through d different re media posts and things like that. Um, as you know, I'm a plant-based eater. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm a plant-based eater. And whenever you look up a lot of about plant-based or vegan diets in the media, they seem to use a big word. Um, they seem to use the word restrictive. And I see this various places, and even some people that I've talked to, they think it's restrictive. Um, and I want to say, in my own personal opinion, I don't think it's restrictive. Um, I've eaten more of a varied um, diet than I ever have, than I ever did when I ate meat and things of that nature. Um, when I was growing up, the thing I remember is we would have a meat, meat meaning poultry or fish or whatever, meat, flesh from an animal, and a little bit of broccoli. We'd serve ourselves a little bit of broccoli or whatever, or vegetable, green vegetable, and then a starch. Like, it was just, like, perfectly, you know, and we had a lot of, that was a lot of what I had growing up, and probably a lot of people had growing up. Um, and there are things that I have tried now as a plant-based eater that I would have never, ever dreamed of trying back when I ate meat or even when I was vegetarian. Um, for example, I made an, an avocado pesto pasta thingy. I don't know what to call it. I would have never made that back when I ate meat. I probably would have eaten, gotten like sausage and rice and then a vegetable like I had mentioned before. Um, so I don't think it's restrictive. Now there are so many different options. You can get the soy milks that have all of your your nutrients in it. Um, not all your nutrients, but it has the vitamin D and the calcium and all that, just like regular milk does. And um, there is just there is just so much now than there ever was before, even 10 years ago. Um, I actually had some dairy-free ice cream, and it was it was very good. It had vegan brownies in it and everything. So, um, there's so much out there now, and just so many, now with the internet, there are so many different recipes. And um, on my video a few months ago, I, did a, I reviewed a cookbook, and that, um, that had so much, that has so many recipes in it, it's insane, things that I would have never dreamed of trying back when I ate meat, um, and I guess people here in the West think it's restrictive because they're like, okay, you're cutting out meat, cheat, dairy, and eggs. And that's a big part of Western diet is meat, cheese, and dairy, and eggs. So people are like, well, it's restrictive. You can only have this, 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 and this. And, um... And I met a lot of people that think I only eat salad, which is so, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Like, I don't just eat salad. I eat, like I said, I had pasta and I made chili and things like that. Like, I don't, I don't like, I'm not a big fan of salad. The only salad I eat 
is when you go to a Japanese restaurant and you get the salad with the really good ginger dressing, that is the only salad I will eat that's a lettuce salad, vegetable salad. Um, I, I would die. I, I probably wouldn't be vegan if I just had to eat salad. So you're not just going to eat, you're not just going to live off salad. You know, there's so much, there are so many, um, different things that you can eat, so, um, now, the one thing that can be a little, and I'm putting this in quotation marks, quote unquote, quote unquote, restrictive, is whenever you go to some restaurants um, because some restaurants um, are not vegan friendly and sometimes you in a way you end up having to go like if, if, fam if family comes to visit they're like, well, you know, it's just easy. Let's just go out to eat. I'm, I'm here for the weekend. Let's just go out to eat. And so that gets a little difficult. But it can be done. You have Happy Cow now that you can look up different restaurants and see if they have vegetarian options and vegan options. And you can call the restaurant and things like that. So a vegan diet, in my opinion, is not restrictive. Um... I eat a lot more, a lot more variety, bigger variety of food than I ever did back when I ate meat. Um, and I'm always looking up new recipes and I make it fun. I make it, um, you know, I make it, I love looking up this kind of stuff. I, I find it interesting and cooking is a thing that I really enjoy, so, um. I mean, with the internet now, there's just, you can't even imagine what, how many, how much stuff there is on the internet. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about um, plant-based diet being restrictive. Um, I don't find it restrictive. Um, now, if you come across this video and you're not plant-based, I'm not judging you. Because I know a lot of my subscribers are probably not plant-based or vegetarian. I'm not judging you. I'm just kind of dispelling a myth about plant-based eating in case people are interested. So, please, I say this in every vegan video I do. Please, don't... Don't... Um write a comment saying, shut up and I just want to eat what I want. Okay, I, I don't care. I'm, I really, I'm seriously, I don't care. We're all on our own path. You be you and I'll be me, so. Um, and I know, I know I'm, after I say this, I'm going to get some goofball that's going to say something and they're just going to be joking. I know that's going to happen one day and I'm going to laugh. But, if you are serious, please don't write a rude comment because I'm not judging anybody. Um, I just want to dispel the myth that vegetarianism is restrictive, veganism is restrictive, because it really isn't. Um, I don't find it restrictive. Um, and I make it fun. I make it enjoyable. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, so have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.